yo what's up everybody um as you can see it's your boy face man vtt and i'm here with my queen we've done several uh tiktok videos and uh i guess they go on viral right is that viral Seventy thousand views i know something like that but um we both decided to start our own podcast start our own show obviously use grunt works and veteran trash talk and our entire community to uh push our show out and we're going to talk about various topics all kinds of stuff and uh most of you know who I am, so I'm going to hand it over to my queen real quick, and she can introduce herself. She already had, like, five shots of vodka, no. you know? She needs yeah. to slow down a little bit, Mm-mm. but, um, hey, baby, uh, tell the world who you are. So, I am, my name's Megan. I'm pouring a shot right now for us, because I feel like before I get on camera, I need to have a shot. So, let's do that first. But my name's Megan. Uh, I was born in California. And uh, have spent like equal amounts of time in California and Arizona. Um, went to school, got my degree in biblical theology. Uh oh, religion. Uh, so let's shoot on that. <laughs> <laughs> but, mm. Am I allowed to cuss on this or no? Yeah, you, we can cuss. Okay. Um, so I have a biblical theology degree. I was trying to look all hard Only just now. Three curse words like every. Every minute. I was that's, I, that's actually a lot. I was trying to be all hard just now. I'm like. I definitely made a face. I was thinking the same thing when I drank it. I'm like, people are going to be like, look, he's a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I got a degree in biblical theology with an emphasis in worship ministry, which is like music and a minor in adolescent psychology. And then I said deuces to the church like 15 years later. Well, no, I guess. 10 years later. 10 years, right? Yeah. And uh, now I'm a real estate agent and I own a construction company. And uh, that was, those were my two of my three businesses. I started a, another business and my mom uh, owns and operates that now. So, businesswoman, I guess. That's what's up. Yeah. And we met like four years ago. Huh? Mm-hmm. So, um, for those of you who didn't know, no, I was married for 14 years. Um, still in the army, active duty. June first, I get out. I'll have my DD two fourteen. Finally, no. Look at my Dependacup. This is <laughs> as of October 9th. October 9th, yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Trenton. Yeah. Or is it going to be uh, Mr. Blank? Are we allowed to say our last names? Mm-hmm. Whatever. He's changing his last give him your name. So- to my give him your social name. and our yeah. address while you're at it. Yeah, my first yeah. pet's name. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh, we met four years ago. He was married for 14 years. I was together with my uh, significant other of the past for 14 years as well. And then uh, we had been divorced for about a year and then we met. And that's swipey, the whole story. Swipey. I swiped left on his ass three times. Look, the game has changed. So <laughs> shout out to my ex-wife. We actually met on Hot or Not. I don't know. For those of you, you that and know Amy that, <laughs> didn't know what, that it was a thing you it's posted. A trend. David meets his wife's on online apps. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, anyhow, anywho, like Buddy would say, no, I met her on Hot or Not. She was still in the Marine Corps, Fort Jackson, or actually Camp Lejeune. And uh, I was in the 82nd Airborne. And then we met, you know, hooked up 14 years of marriage, two beautiful mm-hmm. kids, Tyler and Haley. Love them to pieces. They live full time with us, uh, but they are currently in North Carolina visiting their mom. So, mm-hmm. yeah. And then uh, I came out here. And you have, a, you have a daughter in Germany. I do. Shout out to my daughter, Alicia. She's 21 years old. Yeah, I had a little fun back then in Germany. <laughs> when I, I grew up there for 21 years, and I'm going to catch a lot of shit, buddy, because I always mentioned growing up in Germany, but it, it is what it is. Um, and then uh, my beautiful daughter was born, and I have a great relationship with her as well. Um, but I lost my train of thought. And then I, I came know. out here, newly divorced. And he said he's stuff. never going to date a woman who has kids. For sure. I also said I was never going to get married again. Yeah. And then uh, I saw her on Tinder because I was like, what's this Tinder thing? Let me give it a mm-hmm. shot. Uh, mm-hmm. My business partner, uh, we own a business together, hooked us up. Mm-hmm. Shout out, Nathan. <laughs> Shout out to Nathan. He hooked me up with the place that I'm living in right yeah. now. And then uh, hooked me up with the most beautiful woman ever. Um inside now see you say that now but when that time of the month comes around it's brutal can we talk <laughs> about can we talk about that for a minute sure can we talk about like that time of the month with women 
and how it's out of freaking control. He said that he's never. You said I have that. never ever met anybody that's so psychotic as you during that time. Maybe like no joke. I walk not, on freaking eggshells. Crazy spectrum. Look, I've been to combat. I've been shot at. This shit is freaking mm-hmm. Baghdad 2.0. Like it's fucking insane. Maybe yeah. not that extreme. Not that. But extreme. I feel like I'm walking on eggshells. Like for any dudes that are watching this right now, like please tell me that that's not a thing for everybody. Cause I never witnessed that. I always do like a little bit of mood swings and everything, but this one right here, yeah, goes zero at- to a hundred real quick. Maybe I have reason to. Okay. But you have a daughter now. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Haley. Shout out. Haley. My younger daughter. Uh-huh. Shout out to Alicia, my older daughter. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But Haley's emotions are getting real, real. And she's experiencing, <laughs> they are. They are. she's experiencing how they change rapidly at certain times. They do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm just, I won't go into that, but yes. Yes. Talk about how a woman can bleed for days and not die. No, that's a dirty joke. That's like it's a dad joke. Not even, it's like just dark humor, but anyway, it's just truth. <laughs> yeah, you guys got superpowers. Yeah. It's just truth. But we are seen as the weaker of the two. No, no, I wouldn't say that. Physically, we are just physically. Biologically. Yeah, of course, absolutely. It well, de- depending on how you define weak. I'm not as strong as you. I can't move as much weight as I think. You. I think strength lies up here. Well, I'm talking about physically, though. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Which I am, and that's okay. But talk about your monthly thing. That's our first topic is my period. <laughs> it doesn't need to be our first topic. It just like, it was like, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm hitting on this right now. Look at, I even had a babe popping up right here. It's like. Me? No, I do. Right here. You can't see it. Why? But anyway, it doesn't need to be our first topic, but you should hit on that for just a second. What, what about it? Just like, what's the emotional like thing behind it? I don't understand it. I don't like. <sighs> suddenly bleed one time out of the month and then I'm just like oh shit now I'm gonna uh, raging and like fucking losing my shit over everything or just randomly start crying like I just don't get it I don't mm-hmm. understand it obviously um so let's let's equate it to a man okay so the we have the same hormone as you obviously mm-hmm. testosterone so your testosterone flexes at time correct flex a little bit occasionally no. so when you go to the gym and you get like a good pump yep, yep, you've yep. experienced how if you don't go to the gym for like a solid week you're just feeling like drowsy fatigue things like that yep. right your t- your testosterone flexes right so with us we have other testosterones that are flexing immensely like progesterone estrogen things like that not just one time a month but different ones are flexing in different rates all throughout the month yeah, I get it. I get it. Right. Um, so I really don't. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. Go ahead, baby. So, and that affects us not only emotionally, that affects us physically. Um, it's like feeling like bloated, unattractive, all of this stuff. We have a dog, by the way. We have a German shepherd. He's very upset by He's very vocal right now. He's very vocal. Um, but what I would say is that hormones are never an excuse for being a bitch. Um, in the same way, if men are on steroids or never taking like excessive testosterone injections or whatever, that is not an excuse for you to be an asshole. Correct. So it goes both ways. hundred percent. Agreed. Um, I feel as though a lot of men, uh, will excuse away a woman's feelings and emotions around that time of the month because they're like, oh, it's just hormones. Not necessarily. Uh, I feel like hormones, certain surges make us more intuitive, Mm -hmm. make us more sensitive, which makes us more reactionary and I'm not going to go victim to that reaction. I'll take responsibility for it. Um, but I think one of the things that pisses me off is when men invalidate a woman's feelings because of Uh, hormones, the feelings are valid. Well, that's wrong. But that's in general, that's just wrong. I'm going to play this back for you. (laughs) 
every single time you do it. <laughs> Remember, you I said do, it but, was wrong. But because because I feel like when um you're not on your period. <laughs> <laughs> even jet can you hear our dog in the background he's like because he's agreeing he, with he me he thinks we're getting confrontational <laughs> whenever we kiss or anything he like freaks out yeah he does he does he does hey, buddy, well, we love him to pieces he's a he's okay. a great dog but um no because i feel like anytime like if we get into a disagreement right because like the one thing i love about this woman is like she's my soulmate hands down like for the most part, 90% of the time, everything is in alignment. Like I just, we agree with each other. We have the same views when it comes to religion. We have the same views when it comes to politics for the most part. It's just like everything is in alignment. All right. And um, those times though, when she is on her, can we say the word? <laughs> those times when she is, then it's like, <laughs> We might have a disagreement and usually we can just get along and figure it out. But those times, I mean, you hear a dog right now, right? You hear the dog. That's because it's about to be my time and he can sense it. Lay I feel down. like those times it's like a little bit harder to navigate the issue. Lay down. Jet. Jet. Lay, lay down. down. Anyhow, those times it's a little bit <laughs> harder to navigate that issue, you know? I, I do feel like those times it's a little bit harder to navigate it where when it's not during that time, then you're like, oh, yeah, baby, you're right. And it's those times. There's one way or the highway. Like my way or the highway. That's type. why I'm a successful business owner. That is true. <laughs> but you hear what you just said there. Hmm. You what? agreed, though, to an extent, right? I will say. <laughs> so what happened was. <laughs> <laughs> I will say my level of patience and okay, my level enough. of desire to be understanding of alternate opinions runs low. Mm -hmm. So I have a highlight reel on my Instagram all about this because um, I'm not ashamed to talk about it right i feel like we should normalize talking about it because i feel like a lot of and that's what we're doing a lot of guys are like you know um excuse me sir you are interrupting our podcast can you please lay down and be a good boy lay down thank you um our dog did just lay down he's kind of kind of awesome good <laughs> he's gonna that means stay um so I feel like there's four different seasons of every month for a woman and we're constantly changing. So there is the um, lunar stage, which is when you're actually on your period. And that can be a time. And if you know how to, if you know, as a woman, how to utilize, because we really, I mean, we're just going to go deep here. We're really collectively all just cells of energy in this universe with souls. Yes. And that energy plays off of the energy of everything around us. Oh, hundred percent. Yes. So the lunar stage for us, uh, which is during our period, if utilized correctly, can be a time of reflection, journaling, uh, maybe um, how did I almost completely ruin my entire relationship three days ago, right before, like, <laughs> let's just take a breather for a second eat some ice cream, decompress, really let that stress and move out of your body. Right. Then there's the follicular stage and the follicular. Can you spell that? F-O-L-L-I-C-U-L-A-R. Then there's the follicular stage. I got to look that up again. But huh? Nothing. I said I got to look that up. She also, and not to get off topic, but she doesn't have her hearing aids. And That's so, true. But go ahead, baby. Um, I'm sacrificing you on my deaf side so that I can have my sign. I got to learn sign language. It's true. Heart? No, I don't know. Well, I do too. Sounds like I'm which throwing it, up a we, quick Which ear something. were you shot in? And this is my deaf ear. So we'll be like two old people. A squad leader always used to tell me, Dave, you got big ears and get them shot <laughs> off in Iraq. Yeah, you didn't tuck them into your hat. Sure shit. Um, so then there's the follicular stage and that's a season of growth, right? That's where our eggs are 
growing and bursting. Um, so that's a stage of growth. That's a really good time for women to plan and to like plan your month. If you are a business owner, do your business planning for the next month, like have your team meetings. Like that's a great stage for that. And then there's um, the summer phase, which is ovulation. And that's where it's like, let's make a baby phase. <laughs> so that's my favorite phase because it's fun and it's energetic and it's exciting. So those are the phases where you want to, you know, do your marketing plans and getting on your lives and things like that if you're a business owner. And then there is your autumn phase, which is leading into the lunar phase, which is your PMS phase. And a good time for that is a lot of like meditation, decompression, like let's do some um, making sure we don't murder people. (laughs) Yeah, that's great. (laughs) That was good, baby. That was good. I like that. Mm hmm. And I think that 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 sums up the period conversation. As you can see, this already turned into like we call in the veteran trash talk hour a dumpster fire. So we just like no, lay down, lay lay down. So we've talked about various things today. Well, we kind of hit on one thing. My period. Well. <laughs> women go women go through this monthly so it wasn't just like we it's a team effort now yeah women go through this monthly so um basically this is what our podcast is going to be all about all right periods <laughs> P- periods maybe you know we definitely won't record one during your period <laughs> all, oh. j- all jokes aside so this is what you can look forward to all right we're gonna we're, we're gonna cover uh various topics we're, we're probably going to talk about religion okay because that's a big one her and i see eye to eye plus she has a degree in it you know we're going to talk about blended families because that's literally what we are doing right now you know shout out to my ex-wife again um shout out to doug too we, mm-hmm. we all make it work you know um we'll probably talk about some political stuff which we really don't watch at all because like does it really make a difference you know like i mean it does in a sense but I saw, get so I saw upsetting. a really good, I saw you know? a really good analogy today that said, have you ever given your toddler a video game controller and taken the batteries out and let them think they're playing? I've done that. That's what's happening in our government right now. Ooh, boom. I did not write that. You hit the nail on the head with that though. So whoever that. did that, shout I out to that, that person. person. But, um, yeah, we're just going to cover a bunch of stuff. So if you if you see this video, maybe drop a line in the comment section and be like, hey, cover this. All right. We are wide open. Um, I still have a year left until I retire. So sometimes I got to stay on my A game. You know, I can't cover too much military related or what I agree on or disagree on. You know, just I, I can't touch it yet. OK, but um, for the most part, we're going to have a lot of fun. That's my queen. Like, this is what we do all the time. We just sit on the couch and have like a drink and just talk about various stuff. So we figured why not bring it on to a uh, camera and present it to everybody else. Mm-hmm. So uh, anyhow, we love you guys. We don't even know what we're going to call the podcast yet. I say face man and queen. No, but you are my queen. Talk about that period thing a second ago. Hmm? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I said, we talked about that period thing a second ago. We will come up with a name unless you have a name, baby. No, I don't. She doesn't. We I will. just I just know what I don't like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, thanks everybody for watching this. And uh we'll see y'all soon. Face man and Megan out. Mr. Blank and Mrs. Blank out. <laughs> Boom.